Hey guys, Rune Picker here from that lock picking video, and today we got another challenge lock for you. This one's from K1 Locks, and this is the K1 challenge lock. You can see that he stamped into the faceplate K1. I have no clue what keyway this is, but it is massive. Like 50 thousandths in here is going to just be bent over. Um, so that was pretty impressive to me just off the bat, but we're using the challenge lock Saturday hashtag. They sent us the key unmummified so we can take a look at it. They sent us three of them. I don't know why. But you can see it's a lot of high cuts. So hopefully this one shouldn't put up too much of a fight. But we'll see what my mouth's getting me into. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Well, we said 50 thousands. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's already bent over without even anything set on it's crazy and we'll just use 20 thousands because it's so big I wish I had like a 25 thousands for this one at this point uh, let's get this in the vise and we'll get to picking counterclockwise twenty thousands Nice click. We overset on a pin. That is the question. Oh, are we getting something on that? I think we overset a pin. Let's reset. click on two and we got it sweet that was not too terrible it's pretty good well you know honestly what made this one pretty challenging was the keyway actually the having to provide manual counter rotation with this big of a keyway was kind of challenging actually but pretty good pretty fun pick actually let's uh get this open let's see if the key works i forgot to even check that Oh, there we go. Huh. It was snag. It snags every once in a while, but sometimes it's nice and smooth. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's take this faceplate off the back. Flathead screwdriver. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. We have our first challenge lock pin in pin key. Key pin. I have never picked a pin in pin key. This is my first time ever picking one. So kudos to K1 locks. Those are pretty dastardly to make. I am thoroughly impressed with that. Now, shame that he he does have a couple of serrated pins in here, which are great, and he threaded all these chambers in here. But if he had made the serrations like more on the key pin, let me just take one out of here to show you. What I mean by that is if you oh, come on, here we go. There we go. So if you look at this key pin. You can see the serrations are only at the top, 
And but if he had extended it all the way through the whole key pin and even put made them even deeper, and they would, uh, I feel like they would perform significantly better. But pretty happy with this actually. We got that relatively decently fast actually. Let's take the driver pins out and see what we're working with. Got mushroom pin. Got so now that's what I'm talking about for a serrated pin. I'll show you guys that when we get the whole pin is serrated. Um, we got nothing in chamber two or three. Interesting. Pretty creative stuff in here actually. So interesting what he did. I've never seen someone do this before. This is all pretty crazy. Let me um in all of these chambers, let's see. One is threaded, two is not, three is threaded, four is not, and five is threaded. So every other he threaded every other chamber on this. Let's get our key on here. We'll get our Hellman's platform. And let me show you guys what we're working with. I'm pretty happy with this. It's pretty crazy looking. So if you see here, so here he has serrated top with the mushroom pin and he has a spring. He has a serrated top on this key pin and then this steel pin is 100% entirely serrated. If he had done those serrations on these key pins and made them deeper, these serrations on this core here would have played a significant more effect on the picking experience. Now one thing, interesting thing that he did was chamber three has no driver pin and no spring. What that's, gonna, what that's going to do is any movement on here, you have no resistance, any movement on here will overset that pin. That makes it significantly more challenging. Four, we got that pin in pin, uh, pin that we were talking about. We got another mushroom, and we got a spool with a standard on five. So for what we are dealt with here, the fact that we are able to get this open pretty fast is pretty impressive, actually. So... I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys want to try out this challenge lock, leave a comment below. Hopefully you guys like this content. Like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.